IXL section Y4, multiply and divide monomials. Okay, so this section, this IXL section is a combination of Y2 and Y3, which I assigned last class. Y2 was on multiplying monomials and Y3 is on dividing monomials. Y4 is combining both of them, okay? So you're going to have some questions where, as you can see on this slide, all you're doing is multiplying three terms, okay? So you multiply the numbers times the numbers and the variables times the variables, all right? So in my first example, I'm going to have to do 8 times 8, which is 64, and then I'm going to have to multiply uh, 64 times 6, which is going to give us 384. And then h times h times h is h to the third power because I'm just adding the exponents and each one of these has an invisible one there. All right, so 384 h to the third power. Okay, así que multiplico los números por los números y los variables por los variables. All right, so on this one over here, um, the easiest thing is to first do 3 times 3, which is 9, and 9 times 8, which is 72. And then for the W's, I just add their exponents. So 7 plus 1 is 8, and 8 plus 4 is 12. Okay, para el variable W, simplemente tengo que sumar los exponentes. Over here, uh, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 6 is 48. And then for the variable D, I'm just going to add the exponents. So 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8. And then over here, I multiply 5 times 3. Actually, let me do 5 times 5, which is 25, and then 25 times 3, which is 75. And then S times S times S is going to be S to the third power. Okay, now over here, they get a little bit slightly more complicated. Okay, so in our first example, the numbers, again, I multiply the numbers times the numbers. Okay, multiplico los, tre los números por los números. So 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 7 is 28. And for the variable P, I'm going to add their exponents. Para el variable P, tengo que sumar los exponentes. So negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1, and negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Okay, now notice that it says you have to express your answer using positive exponents. La respuesta solamente puede tener exponentes positivos. Okay, so uh, your final answer when you get rid of the negative exponents will be 28 over p to the second power. Okay, just one moment. Okay, on our top right over here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do before, in order to be able to divide this, I'm going to first multiply the bottom. I'm going to simplify the bottom by combining, by multiplying what it says to multiply on the bottom. Okay, así que para poder dividir este, primero tengo que simplificar lo que está abajo. Así que voy a multiplicar lo que está abajo. So on the top, I still got this. On the bottom, uh, 2 times, there's an invisible 1 here, 2 times 1 is 2, and n to the 0 power times n to the 6 power is n to the 6 power. All right, I add their exponents. Now the 2s are going to cancel out, leaving a 1 on the top. And n to the 6 power minus n to the 0 power leads, leaves n to the 6 power on the bottom. All right, so that would be my simplified answer. Another way to think about it is uh, when you're dividing and the bases are the same, you got to subtract their exponents. So 0 minus 6 is negative 6. So you would have uh, n to the negative 6 power. And then to get rid of that negative exponent, you got to put n to the 6 power in the denominator. Okay, over here, I'm going to multiply. First, let's simplify the top. Primero, déjame simplificar la parte de arriba. So 10 times 7 is 70, and y squared times y to the negative 1 power, I add their exponents, and it's going to give me y to the first power. So I got 70y on the top and 2y on the bottom. 
So to simplify that, the y's cancel out, and 70 divided by 2 is 35. So that would be my answer. Hopefully you're finding this very easy. All right, so this one over here, first let me simplify the bottom by multiplying 2f times f squared, and that's going to give me 2f to the third power. Now the 2's are going to cancel out, so f over f to the third power, all right, there's an invisible one here. So if I think about it as this 3 minus this 1, I'm going to end up with 1 over f squared. Or another way to think about it is f to the first power times f to the to the third wait I'm sorry I said that wrong another way to think about it is f to the first power divided by f to the third power you subtract their exponents and 1 minus 3 equals negative uh, 2 which would equal this 1 over f squared all right okay next types next type of examples all right I'll just go through these quickly because they're all the same thing so 10 times 4 is 40, and 40 times 9 is 360. And then when I combine the S's by multiplying them, I add their exponents, and that's going to give me S to the negative third power. So my simplified answer would be 360 over S to the third power. Over here, 2 times 3 on the top is 6. And f to the negative first power times f to the negative eighth power is f to the negative nine power. And I got this f on the bottom. Now get rid of the negative exponent by putting f to the ninth power on the bottom. And your final answer is six over f to the tenth power. Over here again, simplify the bottom first. So on the bottom you're gonna have six m when I multiply m to the 0 times m to the first, I add their exponents, and that equals m to the first power. And since I have the same thing divided by the same thing, 6m divided by 6m, my answer is 1. Over here on the top, I'm going to have 72w over 3w to the 0 power. 72 divided by 3 is 24, and w to the first power divided by w to the 0 power you subtract their exponents, 1 minus 0 is 1. So my final answer is 24w. Okay, we got six more examples, all right? So on this one, I'm going to multiply 4 times 7, which is 28, and a to the negative 8th power times a to the 77th power is a to the 69th power because you add their exponents. Negative 8 plus 77 is 69. And on the bottom, I have a to the negative 1 power. Now, what I would do is move this a to the negative 1 power to the top, making it 28 a to the 69th power times a to the first power. When I move it to the numerator, that gets rid of the negative sign in the exponent. And now you just got to add the exponents of the a's. So my final answer is 28 a to the 70th power. Over here on the top, I'm going to multiply and get 9 times 3 is 27. q to the 0 power times q is q to the 1st power. r to the 0 power times r to the 4th power is r to the 4th power. Again, you add their exponents. When the bases are the same and you're multiplying, you add the exponents. On the bottom, I have q to the 6th power, r to the 5th power. Okay, so now we got to simplify the q's and the r's. So think about it as this 6 minus this 1 will leave q to the 5th power on the bottom, and this 5 minus this 4 will leave you r to the 1st power on the bottom. Over here, 22 times 5 is 10. f times f to the 3rd power is f to the 4th power. g to the negative 1 power times g to the negative 1 power is g to the negative 2nd power. And h to the negative third power times h to the fifth power is h to the second power. I'm just adding the exponents. On the bottom, I have 2, f to the fifth power, g to the zero power, 
and h to the h squared. Okay, so now let's simplify. 10 divided by 2 is 5. f to the 4th power divided by f to the 5th power is going to leave you with f to the 1st power on the bottom. Because if you do this 5 minus this 4, you're left with 1 on the bottom. The g's, this uh, g to the 0 power is 1. So you can think about it as like, that's just 1. You could, er you could get rid of this. And then g, g to the negative 2 power, move it to the denominator, and that'll make the, uh, I ran out of space here. That'll make the exponent positive. So g squared on the bottom. And the h to the squ h squared over h squared cancels out. So this would be my simplified answer. And then over here on the top, 2 times 5 is 10. f times f to the third power is f to the fourth power. G times G is G squared. H times H to the fifth power is H to the sixth power. And on the bottom I have 2 F G squared H squared. So now 10 divided by 2 is 5. F to the fourth power divided by F to the first power is F to the third power. G squared divided by G squared equals 1, so that cancels out. And h to the 6th power divided by h squared is h to the 4th power. I subtract their exponents. Ok, cuando estoy multiplicando, sumo los exponentes si las bases son iguales. Y si estoy dividiendo, tengo que restar los exponentes cuando las bases son iguales. Alright, and the last two examples. On the top, 2 times 5 is 10. a to the 5th times a to the negative 3rd is a squared b to the negative 1 times b to the 63rd power is b to the 62nd power and c to the negative 1 times c to the first power is c to the 0 power which is gonna count which is gonna I'm gonna erase it in a second but let's just leave it for now okay so on the bottom I got two let's uh wait, wait, wait. yeah on the bottom let's move this a to the negative third power to the top so it'll be a to the third power here, then b, and then c to the ninth power. I'm gonna move it c to the negative ninth power. I'm gonna move it to the numerator to get rid of the negative sign in the, the in the exponent. So now when I multiply that, I'm gonna have five a to the fifth power, b to the uh, 60, 60 first power, because this b divided by this b um, will leave you b to the sixty first power and c to the ninth power. All right, hopefully I didn't make any mistakes on that, and that would be my answer. And then the last example for this IXL, uh, three times three is nine, and nine times six is 54. For the w's, when I multiply them, uh, w to the negative 79th power times w to the 50th power, that's gonna give you w to the negative 29th power times this w will equal 54w to the negative 28th power. So my final answer is 54 over w to the 28th power. Guys, I know this 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 may be one of the most boringest uh, IXL videos I've made. Sorry about that. But we already went over this last class. This, this IXL is just for you guys to practice it a little bit more because it's important. And we're going to be using it a lot. And... Um, and I'm just doing some examples in case anybody needs help, all right? But I know this video was boring. I apologize for that. <laughs> this, this sub, the, the reason it's boring is because this is pretty simple. You should know how to do this right now already, okay? Anyway, so this is for IXL section Y4. Stay tuned for one more video on IXL section Y5.